Hey what's up YouTube, another quick fix from the bikers fix. In today's video we're going to be learning how to replace the bottom bracket bearings on a one piece crank. The two tools that I am going to use for this job is a channel lock for the bottom bracket and a 15 millimeter wrench for the pedal. So what you're going to want to do is if you have your bike upside down you could grip it the same way I am and all you have to do is force it downwards. I had already pre-loosened mine so it's not that hard. So now that we got the pedal off we can move down to the bottom bracket. Once you grip the lock nut all you have to do is turn it clockwise and make sure that the lock washer doesn't move. I was having a little trouble getting the lock nut off that's why it's loose right now. If you grip the lock washer with the lock nut and they both start spinning together then the lock washer is going to strip away the threads on your one piece cranks and you are going to have a very bad day. You can see that the inside of the lock washer isn't completely round. There is a hump right here and what this is for is on your one piece cranks there is a place this little hump slides into and when you tighten the lock nut the lock washer presses up against the bearing seal and it prevents it from loosening or tightening. Now we're going to take off the bearing seal. All you need is a flathead screwdriver or a knife to loosen it up a little bit. And then you could either do what I'm doing, hold it down, pedal the cranks, or you could just unscrew it with your finger. I find this way faster. So here's the bearing seal and then the dust cap. And last but not least, the bearings. Now that the bottom bracket is removed, we're going to clean the bearing cups thoroughly just to make sure that there is no dirt or debris left behind because this will mess up the new lube and the new bearings. So what I did was apply the lube and then place in the bearings and then apply some more lube. You guys could do this before or after you insert the cranks. I found out after that it's easier if you place in the cranks first and then lube up the bearings. So now we're going to put back on the one piece cranks. Now that we got the bearings lubed and the one piece cranks back into place, we're going to put back on all the screws. First goes the dust cap and then goes the bearing seal. The bearing seal screws on counterclockwise. Now with the bearing seal you could do the same thing that we did when we were taking it off. You can hold it down with your fingers and pedal the cranks the opposite way. Now with the bearing seal you want to make sure that you don't tighten it too much because you could crush your bearings or it'll be hard for you to pedal. So once you tighten on the bearing seal to your liking, you're going to want to hold the crank straight, try and push them away from you and pull them towards you without the bike moving just to make sure that it's not too loose. So after the bearing seal, here comes the lock washer followed by the lock nut. Now after you got the lock nut on there, we're going to grab the channel lock and we're going to tighten it a little bit more. All you have to do now is put back on the pedal and you're good to go. So now you have new lube and new bearings for your one piece cranks. If this video worked for you, hit that like button, comment down below if you need help, and subscribe for more videos. Another quick fix from the bikers fix. Peace out. 